This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Dylan, the friendly space ninja. And today, we're doing something a bit different. We're doing a Q&A. Basically, I may or may not have asked you guys to ask me questions for a Q&A on my channel like last October, and then I never did it. Okay, <laughs> I just never did it. But I decided to finally do it, and I'm not alone to do it. We have the homie Bruno, the What's commander, up? and from the other side of Canada, I say that all the time, it's not actually <laughs> true, Amanda the Jedi. Howdy. <laughs> for this Q&A, because it's way more interesting than if I just answer questions by myself. How are you guys? Pretty good. Yourself? Good. Good. Just vibing, you know? Just, just vibing. vibing. Yeah. <laughs> by the way, we're all here because we are currently finishing season two of our podcast, The Mothership. The hype is real. The hype is super fucking real. You guys should absolutely go check that out. The links will be mm -hmm. in description. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, first question. With all the shows you have tackled on your channel, have you ever had a negative experience with the fandom of one of these shows? <laughs> Are you trying not to get the smoke by the I think it's like natural that you're gonna say something that's gonna piss someone off. Yeah, yeah. fair. I'll just say it. Bridgerton fans are insane. I've heard. That's why I was like, <laughs> I'll yeah. stay away from that one. Yeah, yeah, I'm just not gonna talk about it. Yeah, Bridgerton fans are like really intense. They're like ready to defend anything. But aside from that, I think I've been pretty okay. I think the one that I had that was a bit confusing was Shadow and Bone. Same, I was, that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. But not just, not people defending the show because I feel like most people felt that I gave it a pretty fair Run yeah. in comparison to yeah. the books and what I liked more, but it was like the uh, it was like the age gap defenders. Yes, yes. Oh my god, I had a bunch of that too. It's kind of creepy. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, but like there's a whole power dynamic thing here. He kidnapped her. She's not allowed to leave. He's actually evil and wants to use her for other things. And like, she's like 17, she's and he's like a like hundred something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Like, yeah. You know, even before that, even before you know that that's like it's weird. For me, it was so funny because it was a weird confusion. People like were asking me, you should you should make a video on on the show, and like I talk about it a lot when it comes to like video requests. Yeah. It's like whenever somebody makes a, a request for a video, they assume that you're gonna have the same opinion yes. as them. Yes. Yeah. Yes, they do. And so I I kind of like went in and then for the record i said shadow and bone is fine like it's a it's a it's a good, I, okay show i enjoyed it a yeah amount, personally. it was yeah. fine i was very critical of some aspects of it but mm -hmm. like the second that i was like fine i'll do a video on shadow and bone and then these same fans of the show that had asked me suddenly were like wait you didn't think it was a perfect masterpiece with no flaws <laughs> and so i got a bit of shit just because i had an opinion on the show that was a bit more like middle ground yeah that's fair i had that happen more recently with the black phone movie because i thought it was average i was like i don't know why everybody loves this so much i've seen better kidnapping movies i've seen better like kid kidnapping mm -hmm. type movies like yeah. this is just like pretty bland other than like one aspect of it and everyone's like you're just lying for controversy to get <laughs> views and i'm like i'm like three weeks late to the movie it's yeah. not making anybody click on it yeah like calm down i like, feel like you get a lot of shit from harry potter fans for not liking harry potter all that sorry much. for having an opinion <laughs> like everyone likes their things you know i don't have to love everything yeah and it's not like i hate harry potter i'm just meh. okay next question what were your expectations when you started the channel in regards to the size of your following, the comments you get, etc. And were those predictions accurate? Fuck no! I started my channel kind of on a whim. I had no idea what I was doing. Well, clearly about. it's working. Yeah, clearly so good for you, man. <laughs> Thank you. No, I just had to vent about Emily in Paris. I yeah. was like, it's yeah. bullshit. Actually, that's not true. Fun fact, I don't think that I've ever said this before, but initially, my very first video was gonna be Riverdale. Oh, Ooh. I don't blame you. Yes, yeah. I had written stuff for Riverdale first, and then I saw Emily in Paris, and I had to abandon every plans I had for the rest of the year. <laughs> just to I make must the, destroy the show. Exactly, <laughs> that's exactly what it was. Yeah. I didn't really have any expectations, and then everything happened very fast. So I didn't really know how to take it. Yeah. Fair. The video kind of took off, and I remember I think after like a, a like week one, it reached a million views. And then what I remember specifically 
is like it reached a million views and then the day after that it reached a second million what in 24 hours oh wow and like, i didn't know that wow. i know and i know it sounds like a flex said like this which low-key but like <laughs> low key. it's a good flex yeah it's a yeah. good flex when it happened it's like i weirdly didn't know how to react it's weird i believe it it's oh, like yeah. i didn't know i couldn't be like excited or like obviously i wasn't sad but like it was just overwhelming yeah and i didn't really know how to take it next question oh interesting hmm. Do you usually produce multiple videos simultaneously? No. I've tried and then I'll forget something or I'll lose track of like what my thought process was. Like right now I'm currently technically working on two. Yeah. yeah. But I sped through one of them so quickly that my mind can still go back. I have all these big plans. I take notes for things, but then like you do all the smaller stuff and then try to get back to the bigger project thing and you're like, there's too much. Where was yeah. I? Where yes. was I? Where did I leave off? Yes. Where are my notes? I think Bruno, because you have a podcast uh, with a friend of yours called right. Short and Bald. You should probably check it out. Mm -hmm. uh, shameless plug. Shameless plug. ABP, <laughs> always be plugging. You don't work on several at the same time, do you? No, I can't. Uh, I mean, when it comes to like writing stuff down, yeah. I can, I can like plan out like a shit ton worth of content. But okay. like, mm. but as soon as yes. like I have stuff like stuff filmed. Like, I can only have, like, one premiere project happening at a time. I can't go between right. projects. See, I could do two projects if they're filmed. For me, it's the writing process. Like, once it's filmed, I remember what I said because I'm listening to myself yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can go and I remember the references, but it's the writing process that I'm just kind of like, what order did that happen in? Did yeah, this? yeah but it's, it's more like, let's say, if you're, like, filming for a particular effect mm, that you know you're going to do. Right. So it's like, Fair. like that pre-production stuff. Got you, got you. Yeah, that's the stuff. Got so you. it's like if I'm like jumping from project to project, then it'll, it'll just fuck me up and I'll like lose the vibe. I'll lose what I was trying to do. Mm -hmm. Fair. Uh, but Fair. Uh, yeah, so that's why like I can plan a shit ton. But then once like one is started, I have to finish it and then I'll move on to the next one. You got to move on. Got to move on. I kind of have to work on several videos at once because they're so long mm -hmm. but like if i were to only do them one at a time i would release a video every three months right and mm. it's like not ideal um so usually is i'll write several videos at the same time mm. and then once mm. one is recorded i'll, I'll just focus, focus on, on editing that. that one yeah and then once it's done i go back to writing uh sometimes it's kind of like like you said shooting myself in the foot because for a project like vampire diaries you get back and you're like oh, i'm like fuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, have to re I have to watch season five again <laughs> yeah I, I had to watch the show twice in its entirety in eight R. months <laughs> oh i'm gonna be like that with the shadow hunters because i got all the way through it and then I was starting to write, and then I started traveling again. It was like immediate. Yes. It was like, I got approved for TIFF, and then it didn't stop. It yeah. hasn't stopped. There's yeah. not a single month. You're not even home right now. I'm not even <laughs> home right now. There hasn't been a single month where I haven't been somewhere. So if you're wondering where that video is, that's why. It's just physically not possible while getting other videos out. Yeah. Um, I've taken a few less sponsors the next few months, and then they've just naturally slowed down a little bit yeah. because mm -hmm. of like the state of things yeah, so it kind of gives me world. a little bit more time like vampire diaries it was this thing where i knew that it was going to be an over two hour video mm -hmm. i didn't know it was going to be almost three <laughs> <laughs> i was i was pretty positive that it was going to be over two hours and so i knew that it was require shit ton of writing yeah and uh yeah like yeah. working on other videos and other projects outside of youtube it, it, it took eight months to finish the script, record, edit. It yeah. was a. Uh, I believe it. it yeah, was, I definitely believe it. It took yeah. me four days to watch it. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. It took, it took a while to watch Damn. it. Yeah. Well, it's like I'm in a hotel room, packing, watching it, yeah. and then I'm like showering, watching it. Yeah. And then I'm, you know. Yeah, yeah, I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. <laughs> no, no, it's kidding. good. I love having long videos that I can just keep going back to while I'm doing things and stuff that I don't have yeah. to think about what yeah. else I'm going to watch. Yeah, They're exhausting. Sure. Towards the end, I'm just like, I don't have to do YouTube. <laughs> Maybe I don't like it this much. I'm kidding. I love it. I love, love doing yeah, YouTube, too. but these videos take a lot out of you. Me it's too. But yes, I, I have to work on several videos. I'm always working on about three videos. At I the need same to get time. better at that. Wow. Yeah. I need to have like a big project going with like smaller ones being like worked in. Yes, that's what I do. But then naturally, your your big project is going to take a long ass time. Which I'm fine right. because yeah. at this point, the Shadow Hunters video was supposed to come out a year ago. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I gotta set myself a deadline. Ooh. 
Valentine's Day. Don't do, Day. don't do, Valentine's don't do what I did. Day. Don't say your deadline publicly. Do it for yourself. Valentine's yeah. Day. Shit. But unless it's not a good day of the week. For Vampire Diaries, I set myself a deadline three times. Of course. <laughs> over eight months. <laughs> that was a really long time. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it was. It was really late. To be fair, man, I I was really struggling to finish that script. It's rough sometimes. Yes, because there's so much that you want to say, but then you're, there's something where you feel like you're repeating yourself. Yeah. And then like, so you got to go back and figure out what you've already said. Yeah, and, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And then sometimes Ugh. you'll just cut an entire part. And then like, literally, I could have finished this video like three months earlier, but then there was a whole half of my script that I wasn't happy with. And, mm -hmm. I, and one day I just went, fuck it. And I scrapped it. Yeah. And, and then, then I hated over. myself for six hours and then I got back to writing. You start writing the next one. And after you finish that one, you start on the next. And that's what it is to be a writer, honey. All right, next question. You said in your Emily in Paris video that you're French. I am. Could you speak some French for us? And Don't. since you're from Paris, do you have l'accent parisien? Don't. Oof. It's sexual. Don't do it. <laughs> it's, it's too it's sexy. Sexual. It's you're not ready for this. Oh, yeah, because fun fact. Uh, I'm not the only one who speaks French. Amanda does speak French. Oui, je parle oh. français. Oui, And oui. I can go chiac ma blonde est dans la car down below. <laughs> non, je peux parler français. J'ai bien pour ça. Yeah, you do speak French. You do speak okay. French. Et oui, je suis français. Je viens de Paris. Uh, le problème, c'est que quand on me demande de parler français, je sais jamais quoi dire. Ah, c'est vrai. Donc, uh, yeah. Un pain au chocolat, oh. s'il vous plaît. Omelette au fromage. Do you have any original movie ideas you would like to make? You definitely do. Yeah, you definitely do. Yeah, but I can't talk about it because it might happen for It's real. It's true. That's yeah. true. What movie would you make? I always said that if I made a movie, it would probably be like a coming of age story that felt like very derivative of Clerks in some way. Mm, mm. I could see that. Yeah. I could you know see that I mean? for you. Yeah. yeah, something like that. Or just general coming of age type vibes that's my that's my area mm -hmm. that's why like i'm very interested by like x-men evolution i would like to i, I think i could yeah. direct an x-men evolution told, television you totally show could. you know right you yeah totally so, like, i could. think i could have fun with that Fa -ear. yeah i'd be there for, no problem yeah, only if elizabeth olsen remains the scarlet, scarlet witch Ooh, <laughs> will you ever do a twitch video again that was so funny oh so for those who don't know uh i think mm -hmm. last year for my birthday uh i did a video where i where i went on twitch nice. and then just gave away money oh. to like a, a very small streamer. Oh yeah, those are fun. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I did that once. It was really fun. I think I did it a second time, but I only posted like on, on Instagram. I'll put a bit of it here. Okay, let's go. We're gonna do this. Beating you up all the time. If you let that shit get to you and you're like pessimistic and you're like, so life sucks and you're being a dick to people, that's gonna get the best of you. Like, Yo, real talk. She'd be inspirational. Okay, I'm gonna give her 25,000 bits. I have no idea what that means, but it's... I think the equivalent of four hundred dollars. So. So thirty. Uh, let's go. Thirty, bro. No way. Thank you guys for this. Oh my god. <laughs> Friendly space ninja, are you insane, dude? Thank you so much. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Yeah, my heart is fucking beating out of my chest. What are you talking about? I'm giving her five thousand more. He will also. But I mean. Friendly yeah, Space Ninja, thank you so much for the 5K! Thank you for the 5K! Yeah, thank you so <laughs> much! That's what I like to see! That's that what I like so to see! Sweet. Thank you so That's much! Free. Maybe I'll do it again, yeah. Those like, are fun. If I'm like, you know, it's really fun, like I live for that reaction. Yeah, that I know, it's have. so it's cute so genuine and, and genuine pure. and nice, yeah. Uh, it's really sweet, yeah. Maybe I'll do it again, we'll see. What movie do you think was the most disappointing this year? This year, so Thor: Love and Thunder. I was gonna it's say that. Yeah, I'm gonna thing. say. Oh my it's, God. It's, actually, for me, it's probably Scream Five. It wasn't was that bad. Yeah. Oh, you? Oh, Scream true. Scream Five? Yeah. I was, was really disappointed by it. Really? Yeah. Oh, to be okay. fair, like you, she's like heavy into yeah, Scream. I'm know, heavy into that's Scream. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. like. Um, yeah, I have a lot of issues with it. I really don't like the direction they took with the the kill, not the killer, but like the main, like the final girl. I really hated that. I hated the stuff that they did with some of like the flashbacks to the. I can't even say what it actually is because I don't want to spoil it. But like right. the flashbacks to the first one, I hated how they handled it. I hate the idea of it's going forward. And now they didn't offer Nev Campbell enough money, and she's. Not not coming back i didn't want her to come back but like don't shortchange the queen don't yeah, shortchange one yeah, of the bullshit, ultimate yeah. final girls like sydney in my opinion is the ultimate final girl so I, i'm just pissed off at the whole thing i really feel like this movie missed the point of what scream is supposed to be uh next question what was the toughest video you ever made probably this last the, the last after movie the third one oh. such a boring fucking movie yes. it's so unnecessarily long and then yes. the book is like 900 pages yes. and i was like what the <laughs> 
fuck yeah. have I gotten my stupid ass into? I think it, in that way, like as something that was just really annoying to get through for me, it's going to be Gossip Girl 2021. Mm -hmm. I Oof. wanted to die yeah. watching this show and making this video. I think I said in the video, I'm like, I did not have fun making this. Yeah, this is yeah. not fun. I really didn't. Yeah, because yeah. usually that really fucked up stuff, like the 365. I have fun at least recording those videos because yeah, it's, it's so unhinged. fun. It's so yeah. unhinged. Yeah. It's so good. And then the after one, I was like, okay, the last one had the, all the fun, like, happy new years, bitch. Yeah. And then this one yeah, had yeah. nothing. Just nothing. Just boring. Just boring. Yeah. Which TV show do you think got canceled too soon? And which one do you think got canceled too late? Pretty Little Liars too late. Oh, way too late. Holy shit. Yeah. Too soon? Oh, there's a lot. The OA was canceled too soon. OA definitely OA. canceled too yeah. soon. I think they could have had... They should have given them a final season just to wrap things up. Yeah. I'm not okay with this. I'm not okay with this, canceled, yes. Canceled too soon. Ah, that sucks ass. That does suck ass. A show that got canceled too late... It's really, it's really an unfortunate situation, but Heroes? Yeah. Mm. But I... I I loved Claire's gay arc in season four, so I was... oh, season four is hard to get through, man. But Claire's gay arc, <laughs> <laughs> simple pleasure. Listen, no disrespect to Claire's gay arc. <laughs> <laughs> all I'm I saying, I love Hayden Penichair. All I'm saying is that season one of Heroes, it's like perfect television. It's perfect television, and then it's just the yeah. biggest fucking crash of quality. <laughs> it's not their fault it's is because their of fault. the writer's, writer's strike, strike of America. And, oh, yeah. Um, yeah. But still, I'd say, yeah, that's a show that I wish it would have ended in season one, kind of. Yeah, that's fair. Which series were you not at all interested in but ended up enjoying a lot? Immediately have one, Arcane. Yes, Arcane's definitely up there. For yeah, me. Arcane, I was like, I saw the trailers and stuff and I was like, My I don't care about League of Legends. Yes, same, right? yeah. And then I... I so I, good. I, God, that show is amazing. Like, has no rights to be that I good. Know. Dude, it's like, insane. It's like a sneak attack. You have so no idea. Like, Whoa, it's crazy. this is pretty um, damn good. Yeah, uh, Supernatural, oddly enough. I just I didn't think I was going to like it. And then on a whim, just got season one because I worked at HMD. And I was like, mm. holy shit, this is so good. Yeah, yeah. fair, fair. Yeah. Glee! Just a second. I got randomly super into Glee. One of my friends insisted I watch Glee. Those first three seasons, mm. it's trash, but it's beautiful mm. trash. <laughs> I literally think I belonged on Glee. I literally think that Listen. like in another universe, I'm on Glee. If I had known that the Glee project was a thing, yeah. I would have I would have auditioned hard. But then good luck mm -hmm. for, you know, dealing with Leah Michelle. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put up with it. I got you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> You're so good and funny, girl. As if Amanda is not gonna elbow your ass real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Who, in your opinion, is an underrated creator on the platform that deserves way more attention and success? Bruno, Bruno, oh, thank Bruno, you. Bruno. Oh, Bruno, you guys are too Bruno. kind. Bruno. Yeah, go watch Bruno. Bruno's channel. Uh, what's the name? It's just Short and Bald, right? Yeah, Short and Bald. Short and Bald. I'll put the links in the description. Yeah. Bless go watch you. It. Listen, you guys be you guys be doing it. it's entertaining as shit. They have yeah. one of the best rants that I've heard about <laughs> Sony and Morbius. Hell yeah. Go watch that. You don't give a fuck, and I can see it because Venom One sucked. You 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 give them you give them constructive criticism. You think there may be maybe Venom Two might be not bad. Maybe they learned some lessons. No, they didn't. I'm gonna break my neck saying no anymore. Like I can't. You suck. You're garbage. It was the nice. first video that I legitimately stopped because I was just so upset. I was like, okay, that's it. I'm done. Fuck the same. <laughs> fuck this. Fuck everyone. Oh, I'm, I'm out. I had the same thing with Gossip Girl 2021. Yeah, it was the same just vibes. Like, no, yeah. I'm done. I'm out. Uh, other creators. I mean, I always mention it. Obviously, Bias. She's our friend, but Broy Day Chanel. Broy. Yeah, totally. Yeah, Broy Day Chanel deserves yeah. so much more. Her videos are so good. They're so They're good. Yeah. So well made, yeah. and she's so well spoken and intelligent. And she. Talks talks about like cinema and just yeah. so many aspects of it and it's so 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 good and like she's doing really well but like she i think she, she deserves to have like millions but it could be more Ooh. have you ever been afraid to release a video if so which one and why it happens every now and again um <laughs> i've gotten to the point that anything that deals with real people i used to do it a lot more like i would do more commentary things so now even like reality shows if i cover anything oh yeah. so i have like a catfish video that's edited right now ready to go and i'm mm. like Mm. Like they're the ones saying the horrible things, but am I gonna be the one in trouble for like bringing attention to something that came out in 2012? Yeah, yeah every once in a while I'll just get anxious about anything. Like I upload a video and yeah. I just get, I'm just, I don't think there's anything particularly about that video. It's just like some kind of anxiety just 
settles in and you're like, is yeah. it going to perform well? What's somebody going to say? Are people going to be mad at something I said? Like, That's was fair. I lazy with yeah. something that I'm not catching? Have you had one? To be honest with you, I mean, not really. I mean, in terms of that anxiety, not enough people really look at my channel for me to feel that kind of anxiety. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Uh, I mean, uh, I only really get a few comments and they're always like, good job. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get nervous when we were like about to release season one of the podcast? Uh, yeah. No, I wasn't so nervous when it was when it was starting to release i was more nervous when we were filming okay. because oh, right, yeah. i'm just so small and like on the internet and and you guys are like much much bigger so like i don't want to say or do anything stupid that would put you guys in a bad light that's why we edit <laughs> Well, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Exactly. Not but to it, say that he's been saying no, the most no, unhinged shit. Yeah, no, like, no, no. But no, just in general, it's like, you know, I, I mean, you guys are doing a good job, clearly. And I don't want to be the one to hinder you in any way. You're like the favorite so. person on the podcast. Yeah, everybody Everyone loves is you. like, Bruno should talk more. And we're yeah. like, damn, okay. We'll we're just, trying. Just, we're just, trying. I'm trying, okay. <laughs> I can't shut up. It's a problem. I've never been like straight up afraid to release a video. But there's mm. one video that I made that I ended up not releasing. And that was my Star Wars video. Ooh. Do you have a Star Wars video? You have a say? Star Wars video, my guy. Yes, I, I, I made a Star Wars video because it was something that not a lot of people had really touched on, and I was like, "Oh, that's like a very interesting topic and a very interesting way to look at Star Wars." So then I announced on a community post that I was uh, doing a Star Wars video, and then the world went crazy. Star Wars fans came at me. Even though I had not said what the video was about. Oh, I just they were said, just like, you better oh, not shit wow. on Star Wars. You better not say anything. Shit exactly. Yeah. And it's like, and it's like, they start like fueling each other's frustrations. And, and people they start wonder why classic. I don't make Star Wars content. No, but yeah. it's like, they start getting like, they make up. They're like, oh, he probably thinks this. So they make up like an and opinion then, that I probably have. And then they get have, mad at it. And then they get yeah. mad at the opinion. And Twitter. so they get mad at you. Twitter. Even though the, the opinion is made up. Yeah. I saw just the reaction to me announcing a Star Wars video. Never mind. <laughs> and I got so many DMs and I got so many comments about it, like of people getting mad at me literally over nothing and over s shit that I had never said. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, I just realized that I never want to deal with the Star Wars fandom on my channel. So yeah. I'm never going to No, talk I get about it. I'm still coming for Rise of Skywalker, though. Do you think you will ever talk about Shadowhunters on your channel? Not me. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. The Mortal Instruments video is there for your prequel. Yeah, it's, it's gonna coming. come. It's coming. Somewhere between now and 2027. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Me over Christmas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am burning out. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm so sick of Clary. Oh, this one is for straight for Amanda. Thoughts on the Avatar sequels? <laughs> <laughs> Dead to me. Fuck off. If you don't know, uh, it's been like an inside joke on the podcast since season one. Amanda, I think Avatar, the, the James Cameron Avatar is your least favorite movie of all time. Yeah, I think so. In terms of when you have to consider like hype ratio to like what it is, because there's worse movies. I've seen movies that are like technically worse, story-wise probably worse, but just in terms of like overall experience and taking everything to account, yeah, I fucking hate Avatar. I mm. fucking hate <laughs> it. I hate it so much. I won't even watch the new one, even if it would be like fun content oh. to like shit on, I don't even think I'll see it. What if it comes out and it's like a masterpiece? It's gonna have to be a milestone. One hundred percent. Yeah, they said the last one was a masterpiece too. <laughs> it was good. Fuck off. <laughs> Do you dislike Avatar more than Cats? Don't you fucking dare! Come You're not. Your don't tongue. you fucking dare, Jedi! <laughs> I swear to God. are actually on even footing. Fuck oh, you! Come I on. think, come I come think on. Cats is a worse movie, but I can at least understand how that will turn into like some kind of like cult thing where people like drink and watch it and freak out. I have an idea. Okay. When Avatar two comes out. Okay. You come here. Oh God. We watch Avatar 1. Oh, God. And then we go watch Avatar 2. We make a video out of it. Oh. And then we sit down here. Oh, damn. And we talk about the whole thing. Maybe. Maybe. Honestly, maybe. I thought I thought it was going to be a I thought it was going to be a no, too. So, honestly, maybe <laughs> well, it's better like than a, before. That's like an event. Just pay my flights. Just pay my flights. Fine. <laughs> fine. Deal. You know what? Deal. We come here. We watch it. And, like, we do, like, a, a commentary. As we're watching it, okay. the first one, yeah, yeah. it was going to be three hours of Amanda screaming. <laughs> yeah. And then we go watch the the, the sequel, yeah. and then we come back here and we make like a mini podcast okay. and I'll make a video out of it. Okay. And I will pay for your flights. Okay. Really good meeting. 
And to answer your direct question, we have a deal. Anyway, yeah. that'll do it for this Q&A, guys, on this, on this very cheerful note. Um, thank you so much for watching. Maybe we'll do that again. Yeah. Maybe that can yeah. be like my annual Q&A thing. I swear, hey. next time I won't take forever. <laughs> That's probably a lie, uh, depending on what I'm working on. But yeah. Uh, yeah, new videos coming soon. You guys go follow Bruno. Uh, yeah, you can follow him on Instagram at Bruno the Commander. Bruno the Commander, yeah. And also you can go watch his podcast and his show with his friend uh, yeah. Short and Ball Short on Joe. YouTube. And of course you can follow Amanda the Jedi pretty much everywhere at mm -hmm. Amanda the Jedi. Mm -hmm. And uh, eagerly wait for a video on Shadowhunters that will come out between today and 2027. <laughs> Yeah. Hopefully Valentine's Day. Hopefully I didn't Valentine's say Day. which Valentine's Day. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right, bye. All right, guys. Have a good one. Stay bye. easy. <laughs> Stay sexy, y'all. <laughs> Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you want to create your own website, Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform from which you can do just that. You can connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members-only content, manage your members, send email communications, and leverage audience insights all on one easy-to-use platform. You can create a community on your Squarespace website with a fully integrated commenting system that supports threaded comments, replies, and likes. You can even use our powerful blogging tool tools to categorize, share, and even schedule your posts. You can also extend Squarespace already powerful e-commerce capabilities with Squarespace extensions. These new third-party tools can help you manage inventory, promote products, streamline bookkeeping, reconcile and file sales stacks, and ship items all around the globe. You can even display posts from your social media profiles on your website and automatically push website content to your favorite social media channels so your followers can share it too. It's honestly amazing, it's easy to use, and super intuitive. You can go right now to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash friendly space ninja to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash friendly space ninja. Ooh, you come and get it. Uh, too far, yeah, but I scan it. Neon West, you can understand it. Weak boys will get offended. Hey, you're staring blankly. You don't look so happy Your eyes are so empty Bitch, you make me angry uh, You don't know me You can't see what I see If you could, you would be Broken like a touchy mm, Oh my god Ultra instinct mm, 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 Oh my god Ultra instinct mm.